Hi everyone, and welcome to 7 Minute Options, where we talk about options in videos not exceeding 7 minutes. Welcome to episode 1. Alright, so today we're going to talk about the basics. If you are interested in options, you want to get into options, this is how you start. Alright, so let's say I want to look at a stock. Today I'm going to pick a stock that is relatively low in value. Um, I'm trading in a small account just for fun. So I just picked a stock here that's roughly around 20 bucks a share. I found X, which is uh, US Steel. Right now it's going for about 25.86 a share. So as we all know, let's say if you want to buy 100 shares, right? Let's say I want to click on here. I want to buy 100 shares. It'll cost me about uh, $2,584, right? 25.84 a share times 100 shares. 2,500 bucks. 25.84. If I look at what this means is this is the profit loss graph, right? As the stock, if I buy 100 shares and the stock starts moving up 28, 29, 30, 31 dollars a share, I start making money. And if it goes below 25.84, I start losing money. One way to look at this is there is exactly a 50% chance that it's going to go up or going to go down in a relatively short period of time, let's say the next month or so. It's 50-50 whether I'm going to make money or lose money on this in the next 30 days. So why buy options? Well, you can use options to actually increase your probability of winning and you might even lower your cost basis as well. So let's compare the two scenarios, right? One is you just buy 100 shares and you pay 25.84 and here's your profit loss curve. One way you can help yourself here is you can just sell a covered call. So if I already have the 100 shares, right? I'm buying 100 shares at the current price. Right now it's, oh, it dropped to 2581. All right, and let's say I wanna sell an option and I'm gonna go out to the 29 strike, right? These are the strikes here and I'm gonna sell a call. So let's say I sell this call um, and I'm gonna go for the June 18th expiration that's a monthly expiration in June. Don't worry about the monthlies and the weeklies for now. Just know that there is an open interest of 4,500 contracts here. So this contract is out there. So people are willing to buy it and trade it. And the other thing I'm looking at here is that the bid and ask price is very close, right? It's only two cents wide between a dollar and a dollar two. So it's fairly easy to buy and sell this, this options contract. Now, why did I pick 29? Well, it's a nice round number. Um, I get a hundred bucks. So when I sell this, you can see right now it's going for a dollar, but options contracts are always, you always have to multiply them by a hundred because it's a dollar per share, but you're always controlling a hundred shares when you buy an options contract. So if I sell this, somebody is going to give me a hundred dollars for this. And why do I do this? Well, there's a 75% chance that this will expire out of the money, right? OTM, out of the money. So there is a 75% chance I get to keep that 100. If this stock does not end at $29 or higher on June 18th, I get to keep that $100. And even if it goes a little bit higher, that's fine. So if I look at the curve now, this is what the curve looks like, right? I'm buying the shares today, right now at 2581, if I were to hit the buy button. 2580 and I'm selling this call at $29. So you can see if on June 18th the stock is higher than 29, let's say 30, 31, 32, this line goes flat. It doesn't matter how, how high the stock goes, I will sell my shares for $29 a share. That is my end of the bargain when it comes to the covered call, right? I got $100, but if the stock goes higher, than the strike price of 29, I have to sell my shares at 29. That's my end of the deal. My benefit is that I got $100 and I got that $100 today, which means if the stock goes um, down, I still get to make a little bit of money. Look, if it goes down to say $25 a share, right? From its current price to 25.83, I still make some money. You can see there the little uh, $20. I get to make about 20, 25 bucks. My break even now, is at $24.86, roughly. And that means the price of the stock between now and June 18th can actually drop. 
it can drop by more than a dollar, right? It can drop down to 24, let's say about a dollar, 24.80 ish. And that's my break even. And then I will close the position and not lose a penny. So my break even has dropped, which means I have a higher probability of making money. Now you might ask, why would I sell a call and limit my upside? And the reason is, well, I know that 75% of the time, and actually believe it or not, these calculations historically are surprisingly accurate. If you were to do this trade 100 times, you would find that roughly 75% of the time, this would expire worthless. So if I do this trade 100 times, 75 times out of 100, I'm gonna keep that $100. That $100 is mine to keep, the option expires worthless, it's perfectly fine. And so this is how you can do this every single month. Think about it. You buy this today, it does not expire on June 18th with the price higher than 29, I keep the $100 and I sell another option 30 days out. That one expires, I keep the $100 again, I do it again and I do it again. And you can do this all day long and as long as there's no crazy up movement in the stock, then you get to actually keep that money. Once in a while, it's gonna go higher, you're gonna lose those shares, but then you have a chance. You can wait for the dip again and buy back in or you can go find another stock. So this is the easiest way to get into options. All right, um, on episode two, we're gonna talk about a how a naked put can achieve the exact same thing, help you lower your cost basis, help you get monthly cash returns, just like the covered call, and we'll get a little bit more into the mechanics. All right, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.